I managed to make that position stick. I am now up into seventh out of 10 with Shane in my sights. We have less than two laps to go as we're going through the final technical sectors of this course. Again, I know that this car has got some great downforce. I've been on the intercom to tell Shane, hey man, I screwed up earlier. I want to have some clean racing. I want to have some good fighting here. I want to stay as far away from you as I possibly can to give each other as much space as possible to allow that room to be there, to be able to have that fight, but not to have that dirty driving that I've unfortunately had so much issues with. Shane has got that straight line speed, but I'm starting to inch closer as we get closer and closer to the braking zone. I managed to keep that downforce going, and he is starting to really show off again that defensive driving. Flanders is right on my shadow once again. I'm going flat. I now call out that I'm going for the inside. Shane allows that space. I break early. We are going too wide. Shane is well, excuse me. Flanders is following Shane. I'm having issues with the grass because I'm trying to allow so much space as possible. Flanders makes that move as I'm struggling with that. Shane goes a little bit wide, and now I am following Flanders. I am sitting there going, I cannot be fighting Flanders right now. Flanders is not my race. I want to have that fight with Shane. I want to have that redemption, knowing that I can have that accomplishment of fighting close with Shane with not having any issues. I look up on the inside of Flanders. I break a little bit early. I decide not to go for the move. And as I decide to do that, I think it was the right call just so I can follow Flanders a little bit closer and not having those issues that I'm fighting with Flanders and Shane goes further off into the distance here. We're going around the last couple of corners of this lap and I am sitting there now starting to bask in the realization that 8th place might be my final resting place as we go over the line into the last lap i am following flanders who is following shane trying to get any little bit of slipstream as possible i'm trying to break as late as possible try to take the apexes as close as i possibly can flanders is looking every which way to get around shane shane is just putting this car where he needs to be he notices where flander is goes deep on the inside i'm starting to follow flanders around the outside Shane starts to notice that I'm coming up on the outside, manages to put his car right in front of mine. Incredible defensive driving by Shane. I come up on the inside. We just nearly have some wheel knocking there, and he manages to maintain that space. He's got the better acceleration. I come up once again on the inside. He then is able to make his position and stick with it in seventh place. We now have that last final sector. Shane has an issue where he goes super wide just after turn nine. I'm starting to look on the inside. He dives in again. Some incredible driving by Shane. And I am now again just seeing if there's any way that I can make it past Shane. Shane has been on the intercom saying that his tire is having issues. And I managed to dive in on the inside. Finally make that place up. And suddenly... Here we go. I managed to not get that last penalty off of that last corner. His straight line speed is starting to catch up to me, and we go over the line, and he is tenths away from me. And at this point, a couple of people have made known that, unfortunately, they did not do the right tire choice. So Bulldog and Shane, unfortunately, get a massive one-minute penalty for having the Ron tires on during this race, where they're thinking they might have been able to make a uh, pit stop at some point. So Flanders is promoted to fifth place, and I do finally get rewarded with that sixth position that I've been looking for this entire race. Again, what an incredible race on the Circuit de Barcelona Catalonia.